Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Saving Miller. Today we'll show you some things that are happening around the farm, show you kind of a uh, few things that are going on. So in order to get these beds to work well, we have to put water into them for irrigating the plants at once they are planted. And because we're putting them in the yard, I have to redo the sprinkler system because we do want to keep some of the grass alive. We'll want it, this to be a place for the ducks and chickens, which are hatching next week. Um, so I have I've spent a lot of time here digging all this up and um, I had to I decided to replace these valves because these valves were about 20 years old and I just didn't really want to have them in there and and then not have them work and have to dig it up later so I redid the piping uh, the sprinklers are existing basically and then I ran a line to put a riser into each set of beds and uh, hopefully we can get those set up today. So this was a lot of work. This dirt gets really, really hard. I've um, been digging deep ditches. I'll put water in and soak it. I was able to use the tractor a little bit um, to break it up with the ripper on the back. And these, uh, these lines are really deep, but we are almost finished. And so I'm gonna uh, bring the tractor back in here to fill up the ditches and get everything leveled out. And hopefully today we'll be able to get these beds set up and start filling them so we can plant. So I'll check back in with you later. So here I decided I need a sprinkler here. And I because of the other digging I've done, I knew where the line was. This is a one inch line. So what I'm going to do is cut that and install this piece in there. This is a slip coupling. So I'll be able to put that in there without digging up more line. So it's going to look like this. There it is. That worked well. The other side, I actually forced it in. I had more, more room to work because I'd done all the digging. I just put a T in there and forced it together. So now, I just need to put the sprinkler head on there and ready to start filling all these ditches. Now we have all the ditches filled in, everything is smoothed out, and we're ready to start placing the, the beds. We're going to put cardboard down underneath so that this grass won't grow, and I know there's different schools of thought about cardboard, but I think it's going to work okay for us. There's the first riser for the water, and then the other one is over here. And then I've got the sprinklers. Um, some of them aren't in yet, and that's on purpose. I'll have to put that one in after we're finished driving around here with the tractor. So pretty excited to finally get this leveled back out and filled in. Okay, we put down two layers of cardboard so they overlap. And then here's the water line. Comes up through there, so We'll have the um, sprinkler system connected to that. And we have a lot of cardboard and paper and things like that. And since these beds are, are pretty deep, we're going to use some of that as filler and it'll turn into compost inside the beds underneath because vegetable roots typically aren't very deep. So that's our way of recycling it.
how this tractor is saving us so much manual labor. Definitely a, it's going to be a tight squeeze in this little yard by the time we're done, but as we get the beds moved out of the way and into position, we should have more space to back up. It's going well. Here's a quick look inside the box. So we've got um, logs and stuff in there, paper. All that stuff is going to break down over time and produce a lot of carbon. And then we'll get chickens and stuff to uh, put the nitrogen in there so we have good, good compost later on. So at some point in the future, we'll just raise these beds straight up, let all the dirt fall out the bottom, and then the wood chips and the cardboard and paper and everything that's broken down in there will be, um, we'll be able to recycle and make more compost. So, we're almost halfway. turned all the eucalyptus here into this pile of wood chips. Pretty big pile, quite happy with it. And so I found a good use for it. Um, this stuff is supposedly not very good for growing things. So we're gonna find out. If the weeds don't grow in it, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Well folks, it's the end of the day and we got it done. All the beds are in place, we've got the water in, I've got wood chips in here. So the only two things that are left to do is to get the um, water lines run through here so that we have water where we need it. And then on the outside, we're going to put a border around here, um, some kind of landscaping border, and then put wood chips around the whole outside as well so we don't have grass in there. So here it is, six beds set up. I think it'll work really well. Um, we probably will, will use um, hog panels to make an arch over the middle so that climbing things like peas and, and tomatoes, which aren't climbing but they will make them climb, can grow up and over and we'll have these other beds set up for everything else. Great project. Saving Miller out.